We all come from the sea, but we are not all of the sea. Those of us who are, we, the children of the tides, must return to it again and again, until the day we don't come back, leaving only that which was touched along the way. My name is Brian Dale, and this is my home, a 1969 Hughes 38 named Farfalla. We've been going pretty hard now for a couple of weeks, running the entire length of Lake Erie, transiting the Welland Canal, and running the entire length of Lake Ontario. A couple of nights at anchor were much needed reprieve, but now it was time to up the anchor and find a dock to do some work on the boat. Shortly before my departure, I had met a couple of sailboats from the Kingston area who were storm stayed in Grand Bend for a few days. They found me dock space at their home port, Loyalist Cove, after spending enough money at Marine Outfitters to qualify for their preferred customer discount, it was time to get to work. Oh, all day, but we finally have AIS. Gotta clean up the wires still, but she's operational. Okay, we got a new bow roller welded on. We got an oversized Rockna anchor. We got a new chain, and we've got a new gypsy. Big thanks to Daryl from Kingston Anchors for making sure I got the roller before the long weekend and to Oliver for uh, doing the welding after hours. It's September 7th and it's time to keep moving. Or maybe not. Although the Great Lakes have no noticeable tidal swings, the water levels can fluctuate quite drastically depending on the weather conditions or the time of year. Apparently, in the five days I've been here, the water has dropped enough to leave me sitting on the bottom. I need to say a big thank you here to uh, Joe and Lisa from Neptune's Folly, and Roger from Draco, for taking me in, making me feel like family. It's part of this life is uh, it's the people you meet along the way. My plan had always been to go out the St. Lawrence Seaway to Halifax. But it was getting late enough in the season to make me second guess that. So, like all things sailing, the plan has changed. Hey everybody, it's Wednesday, September the 7th. Just crossed the U.S.-Canadian border. Get into the Oswego Canal, which joins up with the Erie Canal. Looks like it's going to be a nice sunset behind me. It's been cloudy all day. There's been no wind so far. And a bit of wind now, but we're about to turn right into it. So, I gotta make a turn. I'll talk to you later. Now in U.S. waters, I was able to start the procedure to check in with U.S. Customs and Immigration. After a friendly video conference call with a Border Patrol agent, a quick bite to eat, and my approval was granted, and I was officially entered into the United States of America. Good morning, everybody. Here we are in Cape Vincent, New York. All right, we're gonna head down today. We're gonna head for Oswego. Start of the Oswego Canal. Well, so much for sailing. It's a pond out here. The wind is trying, but still not quite enough. Well, still have the motor on, but uh, at least we got a sail up to help us along. As the Oswego and Erie Canals only have a maximum bridge height clearance of 21 feet, it's necessary for all sailboats transiting through to drop their masts at one end and then re-step them at the other. I would have less than 18 hours to remove the sails, build mast cradles out of salvage wood, and prep the boat in time to move it over to the crane. Um, the other crane. Just like that, we are no longer a sailboat. 
Refreshing. Sun. My solar's been taking a beat. Carve my name deep in a stone. Holy crap, Give Bend my River. children a good home. Let them know that they too were born on the river. So I will always be found by the river. Lot 17, Lot 17, Pelagicus, I'm 13. My sacred ground.
place that would seem like heaven to children of any race. I was young when I got my first taste. At the end of long days, when you tie up for the night, you meet your fellow cruisers who are always quick to lend a hand, share a story or a beverage. And on this particular night, I was more than happy to sing for my supper.